What's up, riders? It's Paul with another Ride Home Review, and this week I went and saw the sequel to Kingsman The Secret Service, this one called Kingsman The Golden Circle, uh, once again directed by Matthew Vaughn, and it stars, of course, returning Taron Edgerton and uh, Colin Firth and um, Mark Strong, as well as uh, some new folks. Um, in this one at least. Uh, we had Jeff Bridges and Channing Tatum and Julianne Moore, uh, Halle Berry and uh, Pablo Pascal. Pedro Pascal, I'm being corrected. I thought it was Pablo. Anyway, this one uh, takes place about a year or so after the first one and um, there's a new threat in which there's a virus and alongside drugs that are distributed around the world and um, the Kingsmen for the most part uh, are taken out of commission and they are uh, are enlist the help of their sister, uh, cousin organization in the United States called the Statesmen. So what I liked about this film is it has the snappiness of the the first the first film has the sense of humor that Matthew Vaughn is used to putting on screen. Uh, I thought the camera work and the editing, and uh, especially during the fight scenes, was absolutely spectacular. Um, I thought they did a really good job, and I, I really liked some of the things that they did with it, with the, the angles and the longer shots uh, alongside it. Um, yeah, and so I thought that I, I really liked the cast. I thought the cast did a wonderful job and thought they chose well for the roles that they had. And, um, yeah, I mean, it pretty much was, was uh, what you expected to see in a Kingsman-style movie because it does kind of have its own particular style and so does Matthew Vaughn. Um, what I didn't like uh, is um, I just felt that Julianne Moore's villain just wasn't fleshed out well enough. She was just too hidden. Um, a real step down from what Samuel L. Jackson brought in the first movie. Um, I felt that uh, some of the jokes got a little overboard um, and it started to get a little, I don't know, too cutesy. And, um, you know, I didn't really understand why they had Channing Tatum in the movie at all. I really don't understand that. It was just, he just, it just seemed like a waste of him being there. Um, and, you know, it just didn't live up to what the first one did, I didn't think. And so... So there you have it. There's that. Um, I did. I did like the character that Pablo or Pedro Pascal um, uh, had, but all in all, I just, I just didn't think that this had had what it took that the first one had. Um, it just is one of those, you know, sequel letdowns. So, but what should you watch for in this film? I'm not going to give too much away, but I have two words for you when you go see this film. Elton John. That's it. Elton John. Why am I making him one to watch for? You have to see the movie. So, it's a good movie to go see in the theater. I, you know, I'm not saying that this is a masterpiece by any, any stretch of the means, but there are some good action scenes, and so, there you have it. That's my review. It's kind of eh, but and it doesn't live up to the first one. So, there you have it. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, uh, like the Facebook page, and follow me on Instagram for all the other stuff and more. Plus, we, I'm on Anchor with other reviews, and also uh, these reviews come out in podcast form. So, thanks for watching, and keep watching those movies. See you next week.